<laughs> for Tom's sake. All right, 10 15. The National Cherry Blossom Festival is underway. And tomorrow, spectators are set to gather along Constitution Avenue for that festival parade. This year's Grand Marshal is the Boys star and DC native Laz Alonzo. We spoke with him about Saturday's parade, the boys, and more. Take a look. Hanging out right now with actor, superstar, Laz <laughs> Alonzo, HU. Graduate. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> DC guy. Uh, he's hanging out with us. He's here because he's got a very special event yeah. that he's taking part in, and it's the Cherry Blossom Festival. Absolutely. You got it coming up this weekend. So, uh, what, yeah. what, what, what work are you putting in leading up to it? Because it's pretty busy, huh? So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm really going to be making my rounds, uh, kissing babies, shaking hands, <laughs> uh, enjoying the beautiful DC weather that we have this weekend. You know, leaving the, the, the 85, 90 degrees in LA <laughs> and embracing spring. You know, you come pretty often. I do actually. So my family is still in DC. I own property in DC. I do a lot of investing in business and uh, real estate development in DC. So DC is someplace that, although I no longer reside there full time, it's still a part of my heart. And however I can give back to the city and grow in the city, I'm always on the front lines trying to make it happen. All right. You know, one of the things that you're doing, you're you're doing it big out, out on the West Coast when you're out there. A the Amazon show, The Boys, yeah. about a bunch of, uh, I, I don't want to say, yeah, they're bad superheroes. They're, they're super <laughs> superheroes that have gone horribly awry. Uh, are you surprised by the success of this show? Because it, it gets a lot of buzz. I am, man. I mean, I, I'm surprised because I remember before I was on The Boys, everybody was always talking about Netflix and chill, Netflix and chill. I never heard Amazon and chill. And uh, once The Boys came out, it really feels like Amazon has really become a cool place to now come and watch movies. They just acquired MGM. I mean, they're doing a lot of big things there. Um, and I'm glad to be a part of their success. Yeah, now, Laz, yeah. I should call you Lazaro, by the way. Te considero casi como un primo, because I'm Dominican. I know you're Cuban. So my Okay, you just is... shocked me with that. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Listen, no. This is funny. what I love about... Yeah, this is what I love about being Afro-Latino, is we can we can go in anywhere and just be covert. Right, you know, right, right. there's so many times where I'm just somewhere and there's some Latin folks there and they talk and mess about me and I'm just sitting there listening, <laughs> you know, and then once once it's my turn, I'm like, yeah, me not on that level, because ahora me tu no. Ahora soy yo el que voy a hablar de ti. So, it's you so, know. It's so funny. That's me at the Dominican salon, by the way. And I'm like, should I should I jump in now or later? You gotta jump in. <laughs> it's true. You have it's to true. jump in. It's a must. Yeah. I, what I love about you, I know you said you grew up, your mom uh, basically made you speak Spanish, forced you to speak Spanish, which was obviously to your benefit now that you're older. Do you want to do more work in, in Spanish? Yeah, actually, I just wrapped a project for Audible um, where I was in Mexico City working for two weeks on a uh, Audible series that's going to come out in both English and Spanish. It's based on a graphic novel that's huge in Latin America called Gasolina. And it's about the cartels. It's about monsters and demons. It's a, it's a crazy, crazy concept. Um, but it's a very, very high concept, kind of Lovecraft country-ish. And, uh, and I'm hoping that uh, it turns into a series as well, a, a TV wow. series as well, because it, it was a blast to record, and we did it in both languages. I, so, you know, for me, I, I'm now starting to do a lot more Spanish roles, but I mean, Fast and Furious, you know, I played Latin, yeah. and also in the movie I did with Spike Lee, uh, Miracle at St. Anna, where it was talking about the Buffalo Soldiers, mm -hmm. I was also an a Afro-Puerto Rican in that mm -hmm. film. And let me tell you, everything that I create has some DC in it, has some Afro Latin in it, has some go go in it. Like I, everything that I grew up on and influenced me growing up, I'm putting it into my my art. So I'm never gonna not represent DC in the highest light possible. Well, look, we appreciate you spending time with us this morning. We know you're a busy man. You got things to do, places to go, people to see. So thank you. Right. Thank you, thank you for. Uh, thank you for having me. And please come out to the Jerry Blossom Day Parade. We're gonna have a great time, tons of entertainment bands from all over the city and uh, and it's just a way to celebrate the dmv area and celebrating the beginning of spring even though it don't feel like it <laughs> it will feel like it in a couple days
<laughs> All right, just a reminder, you can see Laz Alonzo on season three, the premiere of The Boys, June 3rd, streaming on Prime Video. All right, I know we didn't have the translator there. Yeah. I was telling him I consider him like a cousin because yeah. he's Cuban. So right. it's just, yeah. you know, hop yeah. to the next island over. Yeah, but. the next island. Just a little water in between the two. <laughs> just a yeah. little bit, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. He's always great to talk to. I love Absolutely. him. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He has a great spirit about yeah. him. Right? Right. Yeah, super yeah. fun. 1020 is our time right now. And coming up, a local man going viral for his junk food hair 